All right, you probably remember the quantum energy pendant that I did a video about a couple of weeks ago. Right now we're placing it on a high purity germanium detector to do proper gamma spectroscopy with very good energy resolution. And uh, starting the measurement, you can see, after just a short amount of time, how all these very characteristic peaks are coming up that are accountable for uh, naturally radioactive substances. For example, right there, this large peak uh, is from lead 212, which is part of the naturally radioactive thorium series decay chain. And you can find many other radioisotopes such as actinium 228 and, uh, well, basically stuff that comes uh, to a large amount from the thorium decay chain, but there are also some radioisotopes that come from the uranium decay chain, so, um, well, it's nothing too spectacular. There's no cesium-137 or anything that would be, uh, like, fallout from Fukushima. But it's just naturally radioactive isotopes. So this suggests that uh, the quantum energy pendant is just something like volcanic ash. Here we're just displaying all the lines that belong to lead 212, and you can see we have a perfect match. Pretty much all the lines, the gamma energies that are associated with lead 212, occur in the spectrum. So that pretty much proves that this is actual lead 212, that is the fingerprint of that. Here's actinium 228. So yeah, nothing spectacular, just the normal naturally radioactive isotopes around you everywhere.